How's it going, everybody? As you can tell, we are not bass fishing today. Getting the old snuggly waders on, nice and tight. It's uh, it's a little cold today. It's probably about 30, and uh, super windy, which is a good thing. We got a north wind, which is really good for where I'm at. I'm with Austin. It's just him and I, and it is actually opening day today, uh, and it's a weekday, so. That's why it's just him and I, you know, all the parents and stuff, they got to go to work and do real job things. This kid over here just doesn't like to get educated and skip school. He doesn't have a real job. I don't have a real job. So we are, uh, like I said, we're going to go hunting. But before we do that, look at this. Look at that. That is our new limited edition 48 hours only ducks hat. This thing right here is the early riser ducks hat. Like I said, it's a limited edition from the time that you're watching this right now, or maybe even, even less than this, you have 48 hours. And if you're watching this 48 hours after I post this video, don't worry. Do not worry because we do these 48 hour sales about every week, about every week to every two weeks, whenever we get some cool products. We do these 48 hours because it's not possible for us to carry inventory in all of the products that we want to release. So we do limited runs, uh, just like I said. So if you want this hat, you have to click the link down below right now if you're watching this within 48 hours of me posting it. Otherwise, it is gone. It comes in tan, it comes in black, two different options for you. I will link it down below. I'm gonna shut up because we gotta set up some decoys. It's a little bit chilly today. Hopefully, uh, Austin and I can wax some birds. We are set up and ready to go. Like I said, it is opening day, just Austin and I, on a weekday. We are on this pond right now, and uh, we're kind of down and out of the wind. So the wind's going to be good because it's going to make the birds decoy, but then we're kind of out of it a little bit. So we got a lot of motion decoys. We got all of our lucky ducks out, ready to go. Uh, we got the swimmers, we got the splashers, we got the, uh, the ones that spin the wings and everything. So... We're good to go as far as that. But before we get started, I wanted to mention a few new products we have at Ducks. So if you guys are just watching this video, and the last video you watched of mine was my last hunting video, we have a ton of new stuff. We have, obviously, barrel stickers, spray and pro. We've got I Hunt Ducks. We've got Ducks Water Falco. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. we got beanies. we got new hoodies. we got new jackets. We have all sorts of court stuff. We have gun straps, game totes, uh these little lanyard type deals get all your calls on it lots of new stuff i will link the ducks website down below check it out we got a whole bunch of new stuff and a whole bunch of new stuff coming that's pretty much all i've got for you guys wish us luck that one one straight out right there got him he's over there i can't see him yeah it's a good dark yeah. three of them. good job cool. you got one yep sadie go good work sadie. what do we got teal teal where is the did you shoot the head off? I shot the head off. You shot the head off. Well, good work, boy. Catch up. Go. Sadie, go. Well, folks, I just shot my first duck. It actually surprised us. I was sitting there. Austin and I were sitting here. We just turned the heater on. It's actually really cold out here now. And uh, Austin and I look up and I don't know. Were they mallards? I'm guessing Gadwell or Widgeon. Gadwell or Widgeon. We're not sure what it is. Dogs are retrieving it right now. We had three of them hovering. We sat still, two of them left, one of them plopped down. I smacked it, and, uh, and Sadie's getting the retrieve right now. Woo, what do we got, boys? Weegeon. We got a Weegeon. Look at that. Is that good? Good dog. Good dog. Nice. First one for me. So that's two down. We got a green wing teal and a Weegeon. Uh, there's ducks literally everywhere. The wind is blowing so hard right now. I don't know how they're staying up there, but we're seeing ducks everywhere. We're hoping that we get a few more groups come in, but hopefully we can see them actually come in so we can shoot them when they're up in the air, not quite on the water yet. But that is, that's another one. Hopefully, uh, I was about to cook up breakfast actually, but I think I'll, I'll hold off for now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you forget a lighter and you're trying to cook some bacon. So we've got a little heater here. Take a little piece of, uh, piece of uh, grass, reeds. You gotta catch it on fire through the heater, like this. This should be interesting, don't do this at home. Don't burn the blind. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, boys! That is what happens when you uh, when you turn the propane up for like 30 seconds and then stick a piece of burning reed on it. But uh, yeah, that's that's we're good. So we're gonna we're gonna cook up some bacon. Yo, 
Chef Flair to the rescue. Cooked up some fire bacon. Some really not so good looking eggs, but I'm sure they're gonna taste all right. Have not seen any more ducks though. I mean, which is usually odd because once you start frying up the bacon, all the ducks you should start pouring in. They, they smell the bacon, they start coming in. Today they just, maybe they're, maybe they're into sausage. We didn't bring the sausages or pancakes. We forgot the pancakes too, so. I don't know, we'll camp out here for a little bit longer. We're hoping hopefully, hoping for, you know, another group or two to come through here and give us another shot. Good dog. Here we go, Austin just shot this. The only reason why we don't think it's a redhead is because uh, the, the bill on it's black, which a lot of the pictures that we saw of the redheads were blue, but everything else pretty much matches a redhead. If you guys are wondering why we are shooting all these birds on the water, right now it is so windy that we're sitting here, we're looking, we're paying attention, and the second a bird comes in, I mean, it's plopping down so fast. You don't see them lock up. You don't see them do anything. They're just in the water. So by the time we stand up, they're already in the water, which is unfortunate because we don't like shooting these on the water. I know it's kind of frowned upon to shoot them on the water, but like, there's nothing we can do about it. They're not hovering above the blind. We have absolutely no, you know, heads up on anything. We're sitting here, we're, we're looking, and all of a sudden, boom, they just, I mean, they're they are so fast, there's no way we can stand up. So hopefully the next one that we, we have come in, we can actually shoot in the air, because I don't enjoy shooting them on the water, it just takes the fun out of all of it. But let us know in the comments section down below, is this is this right here a redhead or a canvas back? We're gonna, we're gonna keep camping out here. The guy went from cloudy to sunny back to cloudy. So we're hoping maybe the clouds come back, maybe the birds will start flying a little bit more. We're seeing just a couple here and there, not a whole lot going on. Eventually. Well, folks, I am back home. Uh, the last thing you guys saw was us sitting in the blind right after we shot the canvas back, in which we weren't sure if it's a canvas back or a redhead, and we are now positive it was a canvas back. It is actually super, super rare to shoot a canvas back in the area in Nebraska that we're in. Uh, Austin, his dad, has been hunting pretty much his entire life, and he's never shot one. I've never shot one. I've never been around any of them. Just kind of crazy, so it's cool we got to shoot a rare duck on opening day. Like I was talking about earlier, it kind of sucked we had to shoot them on the water. We just could not stand up in time by the time we got the cameras ready and everything else. But, you know, that's how it goes. And um, so instead of just ending the video there, I was going to mix it up and I'm going to teach you guys how to make jerky. So I made I made the, the three ducks that we shot. We shot a teal, we shot a widgeon, we shot a canvas back. And that's what we have here today. This here is the teal, this is the widgeon, all this is the canvas back. So I've already cooked it, it's actually the next day. And I wanted to walk you through how I did it. So I wanted to do a, a kind of a tutorial without actually making me like a cooking show like I did the one time with Austin. You guys saw we cooked teal. If you guys wanna see how I prepare and cook and eat teal, I will link that video down below. I'll have that little bar slide up here. But this is how I make jerky, and jerky is one of my favorite ways to prepare and eat the game that I shoot, especially goose. Goose jerky is really good. But essentially, this is what I do. So you guys just have to pay attention. There's no, there's no instructions here. You guys are just going to have to visually, no, not visually, what, hearing. You, gotta, you, you just got to listen, all right? I don't know what the word is for that. You just got to listen. So what you do is you take the breast. After, you, after you've cleaned the, the birds, which I've already, again, I've made tutorials over all this. You clean the birds. You stick it on a plate, some flat surface, and you freeze it. I freeze mine for like four hours, just so it's firm, it's nice and hard. Then you do is you take a knife and you slice it really thin, probably a like quarter of an inch, just real thin, as you guys can see. Some of these pieces on here, they obviously shrink a little bit, but they're pretty thin. You slice them thin, and then you go buy some of this stuff. This is some wild goose jerky cure seasoning. There's a ton of different stuff that you guys, I, I mean, I just went to the local store and picked this stuff up. You can really get whatever you want. It's got instructions on it of how much to put it on. Basically what you do is you lay out all the strips on a flat surface, you season them, you flip them, you season them, you stick them in a bowl, and then you mix it all up. Stick it in a Ziploc baggie, let it sit for 24 hours, and then I stuck them on these little cookie trays, Stuck them in the oven, put the oven at 200 degrees, and cooked this for like an hour and a half. I checked it right at an hour, and uh, the, some of the thicker pieces were still, they weren't raw by any means, but I just like them to be a little bit more dry. And, uh, and like an hour and a half later, you take them out, you let them cool, and this is essentially what you get. So I brought Austin over here. Austin is here. He has never had this type of jerky prepared before, so we're going to see what he thinks. All right, it's uh, Austin's turn to try Start with the canvas back. All right. So I've heard I've heard canvas back is actually really good at eating. What do you what do you think about that? Does it taste like Jack Links? Probably not. I wouldn't say like Jack Links, but it's good. It is good. It's good. It's pretty good. Okay. Especially for you cooking it, it's better than I thought. 
Okay, all right. So we have, uh, we have teal here. Go ahead and try the teal. That's better. Is it better? Oh yeah. So the teal is better. I like the teal. Okay. Now lastly, the widgeon. I feel like that's probably the least, the, the, the worst of the three. Yeah, it's a little more gamey. Is it more gamey? Mm -hmm. Just a tad. So there you have it, folks. Te you would rank, rank them teal canvas back widgeon. It's kind of what I expected. Teal is pretty good. Canvas back was actually better than I thought. I mean, I've never, again, I know nothing about canvas back because none of us have ever shot them. And uh, so we had no idea if they were any good tasting, but they had actually tasted pretty good. And the widgeon was okay. I mean, it was a little bit gamey, but it's still, it's still edible in, in the sense that, I mean, I personally would like it. I don't mind the gamey taste by any means. Sorry, this wasn't super any entertaining jerky tutorial, but I just wanted to kind of go through how I make it. Maybe at some point, maybe another video, let us know. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to show like a step-by-step -step how to do it. Goose jerky. Maybe I'll do that for the goose jerky. There you go, that's a good idea. So the next time I kill a goose, I will sit down and go through the tutorial step-by-step -step showing you how I slice it, how I marinate it, everything. But essentially you guys probably get, you, you got the gist of it. You got the gist of kind of what I do here. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's how I do it. We don't, we don't throw any of the birds we eat away. We always eat them. And this is by far my favorite way of doing it. It is fairly time consuming. I mean, it's, it's a two day process. One, one day, you have to let it cure for 24 hours. So take it how you want, probably one to two day process of doing it. Um, but you can do a lot at one time. I mean, I cook two racks of them. I could probably cook three or four at one time and it'll only take an hour. So if you marinate a whole bunch, I mean, you can have a whole bag of jerky. Everybody loves jerky. It's a good, it's a good holiday gift. It's a good time. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little little session at the end. I wish we would have shot more birds, but the season is just beginning. Like I said, it was opening day. There's still a million and a half birds up in North Dakota. So whoever's up there, start shooting them and pushing them down this way. Uh, it's going to get good, folks. We've got a lot of big things planned this year for, for duck hunting. I think it's, I think it's going to get good. We're, we're going to shoot a lot more birds than, than today, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Austin, he shot his first canvas back, which is pretty sick stuff. Also, like I said, 48-hour hat. Click the link down below. You only have 48 hours from right now, and then it is gone. And we've got hoodies. We've got everything. Ducks has everything. We're coming out with so many more things. So make sure you follow Ducks on Instagram. I will link that down below as well. That's where we announce all of the new products. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.